Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. The Crosshair Passage today comes to us from Galatians 6.14 which says, But God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Daily Fire Thought for today is I will boast in the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ for to us whom are being saved it is the power of God Brandon the word passages for today is Isaiah 22 23 John 19 1 through 42 John 20 24 through 39 Galatians 6 14 and 1 Corinthians 1 18 the scriptures that get us through the Bible in the year is 1 Samuel 15 Romans 13 Jeremiah 52 and Psalm 31 Today we're going to be simply talking about boast only in Jesus. Nobody can take away Christ's glory and age cannot dim it. It is there in himself and it is not produced by artificial pomp or outward circumstance. He needs no brilliant display. His glory shines through his peasant's garment put him on a cross and it can only destroy nothing of, of him he triumphs over it transforming the thing of shame into the greatest symbol of glory on earth Jesus Christ was crucified on a rough wooden cross the cruelest form of execution yet known to man he was stripped naked Unlike the dressed up pictures that we see and we have grown accustomed to see, the ultimate humility, the there he hung for hours without any protection from the elements or from shame. So Thomas said to them, unless I see his hands and the prints of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Then Jesus said to Thomas, Reach your finger here, and look at my hands, and reach your hand here, and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving. Be believing. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. John 20, 25, 27, and 29. The ugliest instrument of human torture and hate, sticky with blood and guts, is so transfigured into a, into a former enemy had to call out, God forbid that I should boast in anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians 6.14 There is no way to destroy His glory. The more you attack Him, the more His mercy, His compassion, His patience appear. The one who is in, His enemy uh, only gives Him an opportunity to forgive, to seek to save, and to display the eternal glory of His indestructible love. Let us shout, Hallelujah! What a wonderful Savior we have. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride. And I'll see you on the next trail ride.